Hello everybody, my name is Alexei Mesil and in this tutorial I want to share with you one very simple trick how to add anamorphic flares to your videos just like you saw in the intro in post-production. No plugins and no pre-made overlays are required. I will show you how to do this in Final Cut Pro because that's the editing software that I use, but you can do the same in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve just by following the same logic. Alright, let's begin. I will be working with this epic clip that I got from Freestack footage resource called Pixels. So big thanks to them and to the author of this clip, Cotton Bro. I will start by duplicating the clip and place the copy on top of the original. Next, I will go to the effects and look for Luma Keyer and apply it to the clip on top and then disable the original by pressing V. In the Luma Keyer settings, I will drag this arrow so far to the right until only the brightest parts of the clip are visible. In this case, it is the flashlight and its reflections on the walls. What we now want to do is to make these parts cast horizontal flares. So I will go to the effects, blur and apply the directional blur to the clip on top. Now I will go to directional blur settings and increase the amount. But instead of using the slider, I will click and hold this number and drag it up until my highlights are stretched all across the video. Alright, now we can enable the clip on the bottom and see the result. And here it is, the very rough form of the effect is basically done. But to make it really good and realistic we still have few adjustments to make. What bothers me right away is that the flares are way too intense. So I will go to the composition and drop the opacity until I get the more natural look. Next, I don't like these flares right here. They are coming from the light source that is too big and diffuse to produce such flares. And so it looks obviously fake. Let's fix it. For this, I will go to the effects, masks and add a shape mask to my clip. Now all the effects we've made so far will only be visible inside this mask. I will adjust its shape and size and place it so that it doesn't touch the top portion of the door frame. Ok, it now looks so much better, but one very important thing is still missing. You see, when you shoot with real anamorphic lenses, depending on the coating, they produce flares in different colors. The flares that we have emulated are simply white, so let's go ahead and add some color to them. For this, I will add color wheels to the clip on top, and in color wheels I will drag this slider that represents the highlights all the way to the color that I wish to add to my flares. In this case, I will go for the green, because that's the color of the real lens flares that were already present in the clip. And I will also decrease the saturation by dragging this slider down. Alright, we're almost there. The last thing I wanna do is to emphasize this line right here in the middle. For this, I will copy the clip with flares, and in my new clip I will adjust the mask so that it only covers the very middle, thereby making the flares near the flashlight more intense. And we are pretty much done at this point, let's now watch the before and after. Alright, we did our best to replicate the famous anamorphic flares and for this particular clip we have done a pretty good job. This technique is very powerful, but you have to keep in mind though that it is still a workaround and it has its own limitations. But if you spend some time to really learn with which kinds of clips it works the best and keep it in mind when filming, then I can guarantee you will get some amazing results. It was my pleasure to guide you through this tutorial, I hope you got something out of it. Subscribe for more videos and until the next time, may God bless you.